Hi, this is Mike from BandLab. Did you know that you can make your own vocal chops in BandLab? In this video, we'll show you how to pick the right vocal, chop it up, and make a backing track to play it over. You can open this project yourself with the link in the video description. And if you find this guide useful, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to know when new videos drop. Making vocal chops is easy thanks to BandLab's sampler instrument. First, we need a vocal. I open BandLab Sounds, click the Loops tab, then set the instrument filter to Voice, and the genre filter to Pop R&B. I'm looking for a vocal with a few different pitches that I can play like an instrument. I audition the available sounds by clicking their play buttons. Mo San Fran 144 E minor Vox 4 bar is just the sort of thing I'm looking for. I click the Add Track button and add a sampler track. I drag the vocal into the first sample pad. This vocal is a little quiet, so I'm going to apply a compressor effect to make it a touch louder. In the effects panel, I add a Dynamics BL1176 effect. I set the project key to E minor, the same key as the chopped vocal. This means that any musical loops that I add will automatically be pitch shifted into the correct key. Now it's time to chop the vocal into slices. I start by moving the sample end marker to the end of the first note. Now when I play the sample pad, I hear just one note. To make sure that there aren't any clicks at the start or the end of the slice, I set the attack and release to 5 milliseconds each. I duplicate the sample onto the next pad. To duplicate samples, hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows and drag them over. On the next sample pad, I drag the sample start marker onto the sample end marker, then move the sample end marker to the end of the note. I repeat this process until I've chopped up the whole vocal. Where there are legatos or runs, I have that as one slice. This gives me a palette of vocal pitches and textures to play with, like an instrument. Now I need some music to play my chopped vocal with. In BandLab Sounds, I reset the instrument and genre filters, and set the instrument filter to pads. Major Laser 100 B minor ambient pads to 8 bars sound perfect, so I drag it into the project. I set this track to minus 4.5 dB. I sequence a dotted eighth note pattern that plays with the vocal in a way that I feel fits with the pad. The vocal sounds quite dry, so in the effects panel, I add a delay, filter echo plus, setting the time to half beat. Next, I'd like to add a bass line to give the track more weight. I add a new virtual instrument track and set the instrument to synth basses, Moog bass. I set this track to minus 4.5 dB. I sequence in a bass line that plays D, E, G, D. Now I'd like a drum beat. In BandLab Sounds, I set the instrument filter to drum, 
and the genre filter to film and soundtrack. Chill step 140 BPM, drum beats 2 bar 09 sounds ideal. So I drag it into the project and use the loop handle at the top right hand corner of the clip to extend it to 8 bars in length. I set this track to minus 1.5 dB. I feel like this project could do with one more element. I add another virtual instrument track and leave this set to the default grand piano preset. I set this track to minus 1.5 dB. I sequence a melody part that plays D, D an octave down, G, F sharp. I like how this piano sounds, but I feel like it might fit better into the mix with a more ethereal sound. In the effects panel, I add a reverb, studio reverb, and set the mix to 100%. Remember, you can fork this project to make your own version of it using the link in the video description. Have fun!